Blessings. Welcome forward to Reasonings right here at the Tree of Life. I am your host, Jerome Sage Butler, and Brother Raman Singh. And we're just having a really good vibe, you know, in beautiful old Chariots, Jamaica. Just giving you thanks for the possibility, the ability to be doing these videos, you know. It's been an interesting two years of doing these videos and many a challenge to the platform, right? Many a uh, uh, negative um, connotations and feedback. But what is so beautiful, you know, I love the fact that within such a controlled environment, within our reality, there was this facilitation possible where we could upload, you know, information on, on this platform, you know. So we, we really give thanks for that, you know, right here at Sela Media and also at Trail Life because <laughs> there's so much information circulating out there and I know, we know, you should try the spirit to prove it. And, um, but, you know, humans are so heavily judgmental at times. Sometimes they miss the value of things by um, net picking around the actualities of it, what is the act of truth. You know, we're still looking into its form. So Adam say, you know, you, you want to shoot the messenger. So I see that in a lot of cases sometimes, what we've been through is like they want to shoot the messenger. So we just want to appeal to people to just be a little bit more forthright in your thinking. And I think sometimes people say you have to frame the argument the context in which people pervade the information so that one can, you know, be balanced in your reasoning and don't get out of control. We understand that the systematic presentation of information has been a certain way. We understand that's the parameters we use to critically analyze things. But what we are saying here at Sela Media is that once you've gotten that down, use that very same critical analysis mechanism in your thinking to address the very same information you were given, even that which taught you to look at life the way you did, the way you have been looking at life. So examine those mechanisms. So use that power to some good. That's what we're doing, examining our faith, our understanding of familiar topics, familiar ideas around our faith. Even within the religious tradition of Christendom, there are certain things that the Orthodox do not agree with the Protestants, do not agree with the Catholics. Aren't we clear on that, right? Mm -hmm. So because we know that we are a branch growing out of you know, Rastafari, and um, I'm not suggesting that we are some form of a church organization, but what I'm saying is that I know there are several people like ourselves who came through the Rastafari tradition and are finding a future or a journey into following Christ as a way of life, you know? So we know that there is differentials and there is some unfamiliarity based upon what is familiar Christian identity and outlook <laughs> to those who are transitioning from Rasta into, into, a, into the, the Christian outlook. So bear in mind all these things while we pervade the information and realize that maybe your viewpoint, your purview, is based upon a Judeo-Christian outlook, based upon a European understanding, and we are just doing many versions of perceptions towards clarity. So blessings, Brother Raman. What is um, our offering today? What are we um, bringing forward in our analysis and our reasoning? Yes, Brother Sage, greetings, yeah. blessings. Every time, Perfect every love. time. Perfect love, every time. One greetings everyone, blessings. Well, you know, I think the topic, the marine kingdom, mm -hmm. would all be a topic proper for speed point. Uh, yes, yes. I, I realize that I guess some people still are being introduced to the idea of the, the, the kingdom of the people beneath the, the waters are a seat of darkness within the world, a very a very powerful seat of darkness to those who are aware. Uh, so, Brother Raman, you can lay out the argument and we can you know, flow along where um, possible. Okay, so, in my research, mm -hmm. I find out that the Marine Kingdom is one of the highest kingdom of darkness. And these are the most powerful kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, other than 
the spirits that are in the forest mm -hmm. or in a abandoned house. Mm -hmm. Different so house. You see spirits who are in the sea, mm -hmm. the marine kingdom, mm -hmm. in a ponds, lakes, mm -hmm. rivers, any type of body water, of water. water. Yes. Saru. The marine kingdom have influence in that water. Sharu. So if we, if we live near a body of water like that, mm -hmm. we have to go pray over it and bless it. Because mm. the marine kingdom, yeah. that is their habitat. Because, you. remember in the beginning, mm -hmm. in God he never really state when water was created. Okay. <laughs> water was there. There yeah. was darkness upon the face of the, the deep. deep. And the spirit move upon the face of the waters. Yeah. So there's no point where we say, let there be water. Okay, I get what you're saying. <laughs> so water was always there. That's why there was void and darkness. Okay. So it. darkness was always associated with water. Mm. I get it because, you know, in some of the ancient tongues, right? Land was birthed from the oceans, like the oceans literally receded and the lands came up, you know, so in some of the ancient creation, you know, mythologies and stories and allegories, mm -hmm. yes, I could see that there is a correlation that, you know, the life came up and even the lotus, you know, was symbolic of being the life upon mm -hmm. the water and that the presence of the most that was upon the face oh. of the deep. This but is, this is in a lot of old, old tongues, you know. To God, the Bible too. Mm -hmm. Because it, when land created, God said, let there be land mm -hmm. come out, out of the midst of the waters. Let mm -hmm. there be dry land mm -hmm. out of the midst of the waters. Mm -hmm. Seems like, same, yeah. It like it's a very much a correlation there between, yeah. the two, between those two creation stories. Because I often said to people, right? People assume that, and, and the Lord said, just slow down here, so I break it or work calmly. A lot of people assume that. The way in which the creation story in the Bible is presented, they think it's an exclusive horror, like it's a Bible thing. Because what happens is that religion, religiosity, religious viewpoint, religious perception. People say a Bible thing that, Christian thing that, some like weird people think that. The Lord is saying, when the truth become a matter of just a person's opinion or a person's perception of it, right? So then we have the truth. So, the stories correlates the indigenous who never does say Jesus Christ or heaven and earth or God made heaven and earth. But that, however, they had their creation story. It's the same creation story. True. You know, so <laughs> that's what I said. True. Just stop with the Wolipa, you know, issue, issue with, you know, religion. Because, you know, there's a eyes we have to see. Let us see. There's ears we have to hear. So I say, you have ear, right? I don't know, so we can't chat already. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> So, we are finding out some water associated with darkness. That's why if, even our revelation, mm -hmm. when it has said the beast come out of the sea, oh, yeah, that's another always one. have some evil associated with the body of water. Zero you see me? Yeah, I In can Africa, feel that. In Africa, yes. people go by the riverside to go worship the mermaid gods. Mm. And Sibek too, which is the crocodile one, or some call, um, um, I, I still remember the name, you know, but there's several names, but yeah, um, the, the, the alligator, the croc, crocs, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a marine kingdom, um, big, big guy right there. You know, I, I would say to my, you know, like my family and those who kind of know me, sometimes when you're watching a lot of these um, shows, right, and um, there is an inference to what are the dark creatures, Right? Mm -hmm. There's always a consistency of marine kingdom creatures, creatures that are aquatic. And let's just go to the same crocodile, always associated with arming people, the shark, right? Sure. There's these mammoth crabs, you understand me? Mm -hmm. But yet, so the dolphin was never associated with them. Sure. Then neither was the whale. The whale and the dolphin were seen to be helpers and more victims of humans mm -hmm. or of the world of darkness. So I always say to myself when I watch these shows, those creatures are always seeming to be on the side of light. So the, it is almost a correlation to say somehow in the essence of what these 
allegorical, mythological, or somewhat um, mixture of truth and fact. These stories are talking about ideas of our concepts of ourselves. Mm -hmm. They know that the marine kingdom is real, in that it is already being expressed. And I'm not going to call any shows, but you and I know. Wow. Look how much cartoons they are. Little mermaid. That was the one the spirit wanted to say to me, but I didn't want to say it, you know? Well, because we have to tell them, we have to make you relate to yeah. what we are talking about. Yeah, you know, but you can come to your blockbuster right now, what they call Aquaman, Let's, since we're going there, right? You can examine these shows, right? People will say, Jerome, that's just a movie, man. I just want to say, hold on right there, because we're going to talk about some stuff. But before we go, we continue further, let's examine. Oh, that's just a movie there. Okay, so there is a, an ancient book, right? The book is of our lives, right? We base our principles, our ethics, our morals, our very outlook on that book, right? Are the principles enshrined there in that book? So the book becomes symbolic and the, the principles become sacrosanct unto life, right? So we make movies from that book, you understand me? We make, we, 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 we make art from that book, you understand? We make visual aids from that book. We make other books from that book rooted in the principles. So first of all, our lives are based upon these ancient principles of human existence. So there's one codified what we call the biblical principle so when biblical principle manifests is the same truth just coming through mediums right mm -hmm. so boom let's kick with that next thing now so when these dark kingdom ideologies the ways that they are are coming out how do they express it i just said it it's the same principle they express it through these ways of art these books these movies the new movie, yeah. Aquaman. yeah yeah <laughs> Aquaman. yes isn't it? They express it. And they must show how Aquaman, them civilization, advance. Oh, yes, them man. them above the surface world. Sure, exactly. exactly. Their weapons far superior. Exactly. You see the exacting manifestation of the ideology in some form of parody, in some form of, of art. But that's how these expressions, all these thoughts, all these experiences come across to us. Because remember, we're not living the experience, just like I said, it's principle. So remember, we're not living the experience. Those who are, as I said, the spirit said, tell, switch it back this way. I love this file. I always wonder with the, the Hollywood people, right? <laughs> I said to myself, these people are godless people. They say they don't have no belief in God. They're so esoteric. But yet still, I always say to, 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 to my family, look at these ideas that they are ex 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 examining in these movies. What's the overarching edict in these ideas because you're supposed to be soulless and godless yet still you're trying to outpicture your godless ideology by using the similitude of religious themes you know of religious images and religious doctrines almost like a, a kind of debunker how do they come to that knowledge to debunk religious or biblical truths What's the, what's the drive behind it? So I always wonder, and you are now putting something in, in, my, in my spirit, Brother Raman, through this, so let me question it in another way, or look at it in another way, observe it differently. Because if it is that these people are communing with these dark entities, because the flesh, the words are, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and, and powers of darkness in high and low places. Mm -hmm. So these people who go to these rituals, these seances, right, to basically um, commune with these entities, to experience these marine kingdom experiences, then coming into the reality and out picturing it as works of art, as cartoons, as movies, as books, as bestsellers, as blockbuster hits, you know what I mean? Trying to desensitize our consciousness to that reality because we can only communicate through the spirit or through our consciousness. So it's not going to be something that they're going to show us physically. Where would they go to say, okay, yes, go to the Marine Kingdom. We'll go off the coast of Port Royal and Jamaica and go to the sunken city. Zero. <laughs> Obviously, that wouldn't be the case. The case would be that it is in the spirit. Yeah, man. Because many of the, the high witch doctors and the voodoo priests. Mm -hmm. Zero. The, the obi among them. Even witches and warlocks, the whole of them encounter, them have experiences with the Marine Kingdom. Did you do? Is either them get people from the Marine Kingdom coming to help them, mm -hmm. or them yeah. going down there to be trained, okay. or mm -hmm. help them down there. Mm -hmm. Understand, oversight. So, you know, no matter where you be upon the earth, 
once you go into the spiritual realm and you enter the marine kingdom, oh, ah, just remember, mm -hmm. the Indian Ocean, mm -hmm. a desert, the highest part of the marine kingdom there. Oh, okay. So the queen of the Indian Ocean mm -hmm. is the highest one. And the queen of the coast. Yeah, because we hear about her. her. Yeah, sure, because we hear about the queen of the coast a lot. That's why every time some sort of magician or them are level up, so at some point they need to go India. Oh. For do some ritual and, and initiation. Well, hold on, brother. You're just like a little thing. Let me tell you something. I knew some people. And they're telling me amongst their spiritual work, they got to go to India. And they want to go to this and they got to go to that. I want to make a strong statement here because I guess I can't hide anymore. You can count me out of pilgrimage. See, me? Count me out of pilgrimage. You know why you can count me out of pilgrimage? If I need to go somewhere to achieve a state, might as well I never be where I am at. People say you're just narrow-minded. Fine, say it. You, you are just saying it, right? And I'm just echoing what you're saying. You can say it. I don't need pilgrimage. Why I don't need pilgrimage? Because I've seen this constant theme of certain like-minded individuals say, I need to go to this place, I need to go to that place. And I wonder to myself, what is it in your spirituality, in actuality that you can't do right where you are, with the circumstances of your life, or which are accustomed to your DNA, which are attuned to your DNA, to your genetic and psychological and biological processes? Why is it you cannot actualize yourself there why is it you need to go to a Taj Mahal? Why do you need a Taj Mahal? And from I hear you say that, I say to myself, this is correlation because those people, when they went to these pilgrimages, when they came back, they were not the same in alignment with me. Mm -hmm. Their perceptions changed. And I'm not talking about how they view themselves. I'm saying the vibrations from them changed. So even the way they expressed, was of no interest to me anymore. There was a disconnect, something other had happened. And I understand now, a lot of these rituals they go into, I won't call a name to offend no one, but these rituals, I begin to realize that they thought they were opening up and the spirits said, don't stop. So you'll come in and be the spirits said, don't stop. I need to get something out. I remember one of these people were trying to outprove me. I have to say it, because I know some of them are watching. They, they had this jealousy of me, spiritually, and say, how come you seem to be on point to a lot of things? Sort of, right? Why are you on point to a lot of things, right? So they were saying there must be higher clarity than what Jerome is talking about, than what Sage is talking about. I must can get more knowledge because I want to shut you up. I want to shut you up. And um, when they return, some of them, feminine, they spoke against me to others and said, I don't believe his principles. I don't believe his principles. And some people went into this light-based philosophy. Like, I was trying to tell them, if you're about light, then Christ is the light of your being. That is where the light is magnanimous. That means that that light is eternal. It's not a thought, ideation. They brought this concept and say, no, but she told me, ideation, the light, it's my idea. It is me. It is my intention. You are saying to me, it is not succinct with me. I'm saying, yes, it is not succinct with you because the disparity is a magnetic frequency of life. And that's why Yeshua has returned parity. Right? They say, I'm distraction. So they go into this light-based thing. Next thing I know, it is Luciferianism, I see, mm -hmm. begin to come out sorrow in their thinking. Mm -hmm. So this is what the Spirit wants to bring out. So now I'm understanding, why is it when they went to these places, what happened to their spirituality? What happened to them? Because they... they yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So the mermaid spirit... Yes. Are, when it's showing our movies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. most of the time, I, when it's showing our movies with sailors, Ah, yes. On the sea, and yes. pirates, and yes. so. That's, yeah, and when they real. encounter a mermaid, 
it might seem good at first. Some <laughs> little mermaid on the rocks are sing. And I call and them ear. look beautiful. Yeah, I call them ear. But then get closer, I just lower them in with them song. Yes. Lower them in. Yes. And them crash and dead. Everybody dead off. Yes. Not one survivor. Yes. Anytime them see mermaid or encounter mermaid, it's not nothing good. Yes. Yes, the stories are always harrowing. To be honest, yeah. Yeah, even in Jamaica. Because when them say them see a mermaid in our river in Jamaica, mm -hmm. uh, you have more info because like a mermaid come and drag somebody down yes, the yes. river. Yes, 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 true. And I mean, like I said, I mean, there, there was once a dream that I, I, told, I told you about that my stepfather, not a dream, an experience my stepfather told me about, right? Um, in a place close to here, actually, it was just a, a, a few chains away from here, actually, interestingly, that some people were trying to build a new resort and they were building it in a swampy area and they were saying to pay the owner of the swamp with a golden ball. Oh. So they were saying to pay the owner of the swamp with a golden ball and what happened was that these people who were building the, the, the new resort obviously were of a certain color, class and, you know, they, so it was a curiosity to the person of a certain class to observe these people doing a ritual after their physical work was finished. Like after they had dumped, my stepfather said they were dumping a swamp for 10 months. Oh, it's a swamp? Yes. And a body of water? Yes, so okay. they were dumping it, dumping it for 10 months. Oh. And now they had reached the point now where they were leveling it off now oh. and paving it off. So the regular Jamaican, right, he observed that um, these powerful people were doing a ritual, which I mean, it must have shocked him, right? Because he's like, why would these classy people be doing some kind of ritual when you don't know that to be them? It's supposed to be some backward, dark-skinned people do this stuff. Oh. And so he noticed them doing a ritual and they put, dug a part of, they left a part of the thing and there was like water there. Right? This was a little water there. And so they left it specifically that place and they dug it out and then put the golden ball into the little water and then put the, the, the mall over it mm -hmm. and cover it up. Oh. Right? So he waited until they were gone. And then after they were gone, he went and dug up the golden ball. So he took it home now. And then when he went home, he started getting um, nightmares. He was struck down in his sleep, right? Mortal fear came over him. He could not move. The, 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 his mother was the one that recounted the story from that because uh, he went a little bit bizonkers from that. But his mother recounted the story that when she, he came home, she said she feel her presence and the house. It's like she couldn't go back to sleep. But she rested and she go back to sleep. Him, in him sleep, I rest and like him can't wake up. Spirit them and rest him and tell him, say, the woman come to them and say, bring back our things. Right? So him now, him like him can't move, him listen to mortal afraid. The mother got, got the dream. Oh, like. Slow down, little girl. What you said, um who come to him? A woman. A woman came in vision. Oh. Yeah, the, the, yeah, it's like a mermaid, yeah? The woman of the, of the water came oh. to him. But first, he could not respond. He was mortally afraid. He, oh. So he was paralyzed, you know, in the par fear, fear paralysis. Mm -hmm. and, he, uh, and during the time of sleep, right? She got the dream. The mermaid, the woman of the, the water, of the swamp said, and she said it's a light-skinned woman, said that um, she should return the bath. Yes, our son is going to die. <laughs> He's not going to wake up. He's going to die. Mm -hmm. tell, him, tell himself to return it, right? So she tried to get him up, and in some way, him say, him, 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 him can't do it. Him no one do it. Right? That's what I say. And she said, no, you have to return it, right? So she gave him the ball. She him take it. And like she said, him went to a certain distance and fling it in the direction of where, threw it in the direction of where he dug it up from, right? And he got back home and the cold sweat stopped. The woman dreamed the mother again and said to the mother, um, for this, like for this act, I will be kind to you, right? I left out this part last and she said, you. She said, I will be kind to you for this act, right? So I mean, your son went to the look and did a wrong thing. But you did the right thing to, to, to get him to do what is right. So we'll bless you. And if you come down by the river, we we'll give you a gift. You understand me? So the mother never went. However, the next day, when they went back to the, to the, to the spot, it was swamp again. It was swamp again. 
So the spirit beguile her to come down to the river. Because okay. she says uh, the woman will please her. Mm -hmm. She just say, okay, I wonder if this woman will worship me now. Mm -hmm. I'll start come river every night now. Yes. Because then that's what I realized a lot of baptism too. I guess spirit boy, you're on my case today. <laughs> that's a lot of baptism I go on the river, you have to watch out too. A lot of it is not for Christ, a, a queen of the coast and a lot of True. these um, goddesses, you know. True. I mean, I remember, yeah, because, you know, when I, when I first, before water, water baptism, you know, my first cleansing was in the ocean and, I made, and somebody made an allusion to that back on, you know, some Sila media video. But at the time I didn't totally understand those things, but now there's more clarity. So now we understand that a lot of these baptisms that happen in, in, in fresh bodies of water, mm -hmm. or salt bodies of water, because them really salt bodies of water, I don't know if it would be that case, but the fresh bodies, both of them, is dangerous. Because lots of rituals, they're casting off things into the ocean. True. You know, that's something again that, I mean, you might, this is probably people got to set like a fire pump, you know, but I won't say nothing more than say it this way. You know, you and I know, if you're looking at your culture, in a way you do, into what you do normally, into a lot of, you know, your cultural stuff, there's stuff that you're taking to the sea, you're throwing off in the sea, you're casting off in the rivers. So, isn't that, isn't that like a fact? It's like, it is so ingrained, no one thinks that it's something bad, but a lot of ritual rites are being offered up. A lot of um, oblation or um, libations, right? It's, it's, like, it's not like a water-based thing and sometimes they use spirits. So it's like an invocation. Money. And money. See that too? You know, wishing, wishing fountain. Well, oh. Yeah, the fountain. You yes, see the body and them say, to a little kind. Mm -hmm. Total. Like wish. Yes. Yes. Because that must have manifest an evil entity at that spot. Yeah, are, cer right? are certainly showing favor to an evil entity, to invoke yeah. a favor yeah, from the evil entity, evil guardian spirits. Up, once you offer up some funds mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the water. Yes, yes. Offering is an offering. Doesn't matter what it that is. That we invoke an evil spirit. Yes, an but offering is an offering. We invoke no good spirit. Yes, yes, yes. You see me? Absolutely. Because just by doing that, you know, that make the fountain become unholy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just by one person going there and do that. Yes. And make a little flip. Yes. And put them kind. Yes. And make that spot unholy. Yes. Troubling the waters, as, as, as the word would say. Sometimes they, 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 when people are going to be cleansed in the water, because not all fresh body of water experiencing Christ is, is unhealthy and unholy. We just want to make that clear because you have to do that. Yeah. But yet still, we do have a count of the word saying, the fallen sorrow. <laughs> Trouble the water, sure. make it unclean. Yeah, so yeah. We, we can wash and cleanse our sins in the essence of the symbolic, but for the biological sense of removal of pathogens out of the body, which is a part of cleansing. People don't realize that spiritual as a physical to it as well too. Mm -hmm. And that is why when they might think that's why, why is there then a baptismal pool? Because then everything comes back to water. Well, the baptismal pool is symbolic of the blood. So that is where now ritualism now takes a different form, right? Because remember from him, from him poured um, blood and water, right? Yeah, life-giving water and blood poured from inside. So the thing about it is that a lot of people don't recognize that he is the water. He is the spirit and the blood. So I know that there's an Old Testament traditional view of Yeshua that is splintered, and we don't realize that symbolically the water is the blood. It has been cleansed in the blood, it's the renewal. And I know many would say blood ritual symbolism has been here longer. That is why he was a lamb slain, right? The lamb to the slaughter. Because what was happening was it was blood ritual. Because the fallen started blood ritual, sacrificing their children, right? Mm -hmm. And so the righteous began to offer up animals for remission. Right? But I wanted to make this clear, I think the Spirit wanted to make this clear a long time. The blood ritual never started with us. It never started with us. It started with them who started after them children and to these, a rem from and all these alien entities, these fallen angels, who start boiling them children of the cauldron. That's why it started with before we started um, um, sacrificing animals 
as, 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 as a means of remission. And it both included the blood, a life for a life, a soul for a soul, mm -hmm. right? So no one should ever be too confused, Brother Ramon, because at the end of the day, it come back to the fact, say, a soul for a soul, a life for a life. And Yahshua is the soul given up for all souls. So we just want to bring some clarity there. So. Sorry, brother, continue. So the mermaid, many different cultures mm -hmm. worship this mermaid. Mm -hmm. We know if you have fox in Africa, mm -hmm. The mermaid goddess, mm -hmm. she's one of the, the most worship one of them. Mm -hmm. Because as you said, them with, there's many testimonies mm -hmm. where people have dream. Mm -hmm. This woman beguile them for come down to the river mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And them get up and go, go down to the river. Mm -hmm. And them see a woman and talk to the woman. And the woman promise them many things. Mm -hmm. So every night now, is either physically or spiritually. They must go to the river. They must go down to the river. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I learn things mm -hmm. of the marine kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't find some little picnic. You don't surprise how much little picnic. Mm -hmm. A king in the marine kingdom. Oh. Queen. Little children. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because what? From them little. The spirit beguile them for come down and do oh. this and do that and That's do and that. A lot of them drown in these rivers too, you know. Do a lot know? of children, because one of the most disobedient things for Jamaican children, people go up on island and where there are lots of fresh um, bodies of water in hot cultures, a lot of children drown at the river. And one of the most disobedient act children does is always going to the river without unaccompanied or within their own power, their own volition and not having elders or older people with them. And a lot of times in Jamaica, like, it's a fact of summer. You're going to listen out to hear how many children drown because they won't stay indoors because it's so hot. At some point, they're going to sneak out and they're going to go to the river. And, and a lot of times, they spend the entire summer doing that. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, I, I'm not trying to play hypocrite. I was one of those who, because I lived on a mountain where it was hot and it's a river. So I spent a lot of time at the river as well. Too. And I said, I can see a lot of what he's talking about. I never had any encounters with the mermaid, but I knew vibrationally I felt many different energy mm. at the river. And I, I found a lot of disagreeable ones too, which was very shocking. Because through how I was culturally taught, like, you know, go to the river, go to the full of vibe. I didn't know that I would get that kind of energy, but I got a lot of negative vibrations. And sometimes I would pick up the frequency and the thought frequencies, and I would, you know, hear like frequency. I said, What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You know, you're not supposed to be here. And I'm thinking to myself, I just come to the river, burn my spliff, light up a little fire, chant up some psalms, and then I go take a nice go wash out. So I guess we were always being inculcated in that kind of a way of life, not knowing that there is something else yeah. under it. So when we come on, the Spirit just tell me, when you go there, you know, I make my offering. <laughs> mm. They want to box it in your face. Mm. But you come, I last book, I light fire, but you praise God. They must say, what are you offering? They you bring up. more time when you go down there, so I remember when Bob. Yeah. And he moved him liquor, liquor. Oh, yes. <laughs> and yes. the whole of the liquor dash. Yeah. And I saw them, they have to get some. Yes, for truth. Because, and them almost, him almost fall too. So, Remember there's a point we come up, him almost fell? Oh, so mm. they want blood too. Yes, so they want blood. And because he was one of the ones them where, I was saying to him, Bob, just calm, but his spirit was obviously a little bit more agitated yeah, because kind some more connected. Yes, yeah, yeah, so, so he was very agitated and he was behaving away. And I was trying to say, Bob, I just said, Bob, let me do that, let me do that. It's okay. I said, Your mom was far coming down. Mm. And, I said, and I said, He said, Bob, just relax. He might walk like he knew the place. I was like, Bob, you don't know the place. Just calm. But yeah, they were after him for real, right? In our essence, we were like, Okay, I was like, Let us not try to disturb, take a little time and just humble me say, that's what I tell you. Don't bring anyone here who do that. No, remember I said that? You can't just tell people, oh, we're going to go there and go to this spot. I said, no, you'll drown. I said, you have to come here with a strong spirit and know what you're doing here. Don't wonder to come here. So I don't tell people, about, just go on a river safari and go, no. See, it's, not, it's not an easy thing. We should be very much, we should talk about this because it's a culture spawning up right now of these river maidens. Spirit said exactly that way the spirit wanted to be said. So these river maidens just visiting the river at night, visiting the river at day, just constantly, every moment they get a chance, river, something is going on. Yeah, yeah. Something yeah. is going on. Because when the energy there, uh, uh, evil, 
And when you know that the marine kingdom is attacking you, is when you have dreams of your swim. Mm -hmm. Dreams of going to the river. Mm -hmm. I wish I've had, I've had those. I was wondering dreams why I have them. Dreams of eating in the dream. Yes. Dreams of having sex. Yes. Because that's um, um, what you call it? Part of the ritual. The, the spiritual wife. Oh. Or spiritual husband. Oh, okay. Yes, See yes, yes, yes. I've heard about it. When them. people have sex in a dream enough, mm -hmm. that means they have a spiritual wife or husband oh, attached yes. to them. Yes, yes, yes. I've heard that for real. Because... A lot of Africans yeah, suffer from some that. Some of them first encounters yes. like something come upon them yes. and pin them down into the bed. Yes, yes, and yes. after that, they start to have dreams of having sex. Constantly. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of Africans, I must say, have suffered from this because of the whole queen of the coast. Yeah. And it is also increasing. I've heard a lot of spiritual problems similar to this in Jamaica because we're actually surrounded by water. So we are actually um, in the same way similar ethnicities and, and genetics so we are doing some of the same cultural rights too sure. so yeah that is exposing a lot of our young ladies to a lot of um sex demonic dreams and um the young men too and it's sexual harvesting like thelema you know harvesting of sexual energy mm. you know for spiritual ill <laughs> my world and yes, different brother. dreams about masquerades Mm -hmm. Dreams about drinking liquor mm -hmm. and it's water again too, right? Taking drinks from people, mm -hmm. taking food from people. Because mm -hmm. our because parents tell come, us, no, I'm not in your dream, I'm not uh, drinking. Then nothing. we come, you know, as your as your uncle, mm -hmm. your dead uncle mm -hmm. or your yeah. grandfather, and yes. say, "What well, go on, man? Are you think are you, everything all right?" I say, "Hold a juice." Mm -hmm. No, don't take nothing from nobody. Especially you could have been your, your father. In your dream world, don't. No, them we come, them can use any face them want. Yes, yes. And beguile you for take things from them, and soon you start have illness in a real life, mm -hmm. have belly problem, mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. cancer mm -hmm. because you are eating a dream, mm -hmm. you are swimming a dream, you mm -hmm. have sex in a dream. I go masquerades in a dream. Mm -hmm. That really, you know? Mm -hmm. People with those dreams of being people, they're around them with masks. Mm -hmm. And as a party, I go on. But don't you know, it, it's a part of um, the Majan, the Manage a Trois, and the kind of uh, the masquerade ball, mm -hmm. and the kind of sensuosity and um, the verbosity in sensuous nature, and the kind of aloof sexual expression and mm -hmm. freeness. It Literally, they, they do have their symbolic. <laughs> Because um, celebration of these things for this, real. Because me have a dream, and a lynch, the master lynch, come to me mm -hmm. with a juice mm -hmm. in our masquerade. Everybody else with mask, I just dub master alone. Oh, not having a mask. And he offer me a juice. Oh. My dream about this, you wow, know. Wow. Myself, John, I'm happy to share it with you. Yeah, too. no, no, I understand <laughs> these things because this, you know. I'm telling you, the, with the dream of the water, I always have a dream because I, like I said, I was inculcated, go cook by the river, go do this, because that's how I grew up. So I knew a lot of people were saying, well, there's a lot of the experience that we do that looks similar to the ritualistic life. And I must say this to Carlos Spirit, so don't, don't dice no words. I think when you're in the, what we call the holistic culture, it is almost promoting this kind of life. And seeing it is almost like our heritage saying, yeah, man, this is your heritage. This is the way our people are. And accepting it as wholesomely good. But yet there are some who wholly know that it is a ritual, right? And know that it's a dedication. So it's like going to the river with certain people can lead to your death, literally. Can lead to your sacrifice. Someone sacrificing you to some unknown entity to you, you know? These are things that experience has taught me these things. And I've seen the types of people who have petitioned me to take them to the river and then seeing the behaviors they carried on at the river and then seeing the kind of so-called evolution of thought they've had after and realizing what was the outcome. And I said, so all along, this is what was inside of you, right? So you were just using me in a sense and my inner sense to almost, as we say, advance. Yes, brother. So, you know, I will see where these women would use you know, me as a amplifier to get their rituals done, you know, and I usually remember when, I, you know, I, I was telling 
somebody recently, and it must be you or Baba was saying, I was saying, no, it was a princess I was telling. Like, I, when I used to go to the river and swim and come out of the water, my ear, I mean, it used to hurt me a lot. Mm. And I usually never understood why. You understand me? And, I, and I, at certain points, what was happening, I was like, why was that happening? And now I understand because a lot of the, the people who were there, it was basically using us, using our energy. Because we don't understand, that's so why I say, who you go to the river with is very essential because the person might actually offer you up to one of these uh, marine kingdom spirits. Because these are the hidden things now where the lack of knowledge is playing out negatively against a lot of people. Because that's what a lot of people think that a lot of things are a talk shop and they don't know that there's value in just the very process of sharing the information. People say some things are ideologues, some things are theory, and you know, some things are myth. But yet still, the ideas we're holding our heads and the views we have of them is what we all picture as our lives. So those thoughts and those beliefs, they're having deep effect on us. So mm -hmm. when you see the kind of cartoons, movies, books, comics that's being produced from the Leviathan of the Bible to the Kraken of the sea, you can see that in those, you know, immortal stories of the savior of Perseus to Theseus, you see mm -hmm. the, 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 the story of the hero to overcome the ultimate darkness, the demigod, the part human, part God. You see, we're in, like I said, however you examine their ideation, you can see something's going on there. Oh, the spirits of her talk, where them come from? Mm -hmm. Because we are talking about the marine spirits. And we are talking about them, but we know so where them come from. True, true. Because we have to mention, sir, the fallen angel yes, yes. came on earth and corrupted earth. Yes. Have abominations. Mm -hmm. You see me? Mm -hmm. Have sex with animals, mm -hmm. have sex with women, mm -hmm. and so half fish, mm -hmm. half man, mm -hmm. half snake, mm -hmm. half man. Mm -hmm. Torimin Chakri, half goat, half goat, half man, that's where uh, the, the, the whole um, buffet comes from. And yeah. half horse, half man. Yeah, the, 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 you have the minotaurs, and you have the senator. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's why them, them, the mythological creatures. Mm -hmm. With the astrological, with the astrological, remember, this is the constellation where they fall from at True. the time of year that they fell. So, that, remember, that has something to do with them as well. Too, because and then now, them spirit. Yes. For them spirit different from our spirit. You know? Yes. Remember, so we are the eternal spirit. You know? Yes. But because them have an abomination birth. Yes. Their spirit linger upon earth. Mm -hmm. So that's how no evil spirits come from. Mm. When God sent him flood. Mm -hmm. To wipe out that abomination. Wipe out the abomination. Mm -hmm. When them physical body dead. Yes, them spirit haunt the spirit. spirit left there you now yes. for walk the earth up yes. and down to roam, anywhere. To, to roam to and fro. So that's how some seeking, spirits come from. Seeking whom they may devour. Because every spirit have a name. Yes. Everybody. Call them by them name, yeah. you subjugate them. Them have them personality. Yes. It's not no say, it's an evil entity. Yeah. No, it's somebody who have a name. Mm -hmm. Them have them personality. That's why they're being judged. That's them have them come, powers or them gender. Them have them body, yes. some is half snake, yes. half man, half yes. fish, yes. mermaid. Yes. Some, some look different, because even the snake energy, we have to talk about this. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the snake energy. Mm -hmm. Kundalini. Kund Kundalini. That are seen from the marine kingdom. And this is a sexual energy, as you were talking about. It's a lot of what is me? evoked in Telema and rituals. And the new age. Yes, yes. You see me? Yes. Everybody want to get this Kundalini alignment and yes. get the... The enlightenment, yes. you see me? The serpent rolling up the, the spine. Yeah. <laughs> but which serpent? Yes. The same serpent upon the tree? <laughs> yes. <laughs> see, the beguilement uh, serpent. That we show you, sir. Yes. The serpent is one of the marine kingdom yes. entities. I show you, sir. Enough people have visions of snake mm -hmm. and dreams of snake, you know. Mm -hmm. I some I some the, people the, who manifest. The anaconda is a water Who snake, possess you know? yeah. by the marine spirit, the snake spirit. Yes. When they manifest. You see them are going upon the ground like yes. snake. Yes, 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 yes. You see yes, me? Yes. Because the marine spirit that. Yes, yes, yes. You see me? Mm -hmm. Some move different, you know, some have, some will transform completely. Mm -hmm. Because them are 2,000 year old spirit. Yeah, yeah, man. So, they, so, so the, the farm is not of, of any consequence anymore. So we call them shapeshifters for those who are trying to hold the balance. 
they have them have an inference of what the human form is from what they have known. But because of the years of subjugation that is spiritual reality, it is hard for them to shape shift. So naturally, those become like the mystics to, 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 the, to the initiates, right? Because they, they, they go to the pure bloods. And I'm always inference to pure bloods, not every kind of these dark cultures, right? It's interesting that these, these particular entities, like you say, Nabi always taught us about them at Tree Life as the, the, the abominations that were imprisoned in the other polar realities on the plane. And you always said that there were experimentations going wrong. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make a little appeal now, because the Spirit is saying there are some people who close to the reality of truth, but they're not coming across because of certain things. So the Lord is going to make a little appeal to them. Nabi had taught me about the people who were on that wavelength, right? Who had been through the experimentation. So there's a particular set of people who knew that their ancestors evolved a certain way. And because of the knowledge the ancestors told them, they are ascribing their destiny to the abomination. And the Lord is saying, but well, Christ already died to give reclamation, mm -hmm. right? So you don't need to live off an ancestral abomination. That is how Nabi would say that there are some people who naturally mm -hmm. in their bloodlines, in their work, in all these international agency is to preserve the authenticity of those people to be who they are. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So not everybody wants to shape shift and hide. Some wants to be their actual self. So the Lord is saying that that corrupt, misaligned idea of your evolution needs to be rectified with truth to see that that same experimentation that you were taught that your family evolved through a set of spiritual, what they call genetic, the astral experimentation, and you came not through the progenity or through the spirit of the living, but you came through almost like what we say, the, the test tube. Because we know it in a different language now. We don't have to use the mythological language. We know that you are test tube experiment creations, right? Mm -hmm. So what that knowledge Nabi taught us is that their forefathers are really these scientists, right? which are really these fallen angels, or we come to know them, right? And they splice these genes, mm -hmm. which are their own seeds, right? So in essence, when you said they had sex, right? This is what the Lord wants me to bring a little clarity, that they literally not all, not only literally had sex, because in some contexts, they could not have sex. They did genetic modifications. They did genetical alteration to the genetical structure of certain life form. You understand me? Yeah, so, so in Mitchell, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we just want to make that clear that you know that's how you, your family, your, your generations have evolved. And so you have ascribed yourself to no kind of creation but that which is a story given to you of your creation in a lab. And so you believe by nature you're unholy. You believe by nature you are to serve these, these, these demigods over you. The Lord is saying, you don't see it. You do not have to. You have a choice. There is a sovereign law that supports your freedom to accept the truth. You don't have to be subjected to your family history or your family heritage in abomination. Come away from ritualistic bloodline curses, from dedication to evil guardian spirit and strongman familiar spirits, marine kingdom and otherwise. Mm. Well, if you have even have your daughter room, and you have all marine kingdom, I mean mermaid mm -hmm. pictures on mm -hmm. the wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take it down. You mm -hmm. see me? Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to have no image upon the wall, none at all. Especially have no marine kingdom image. Mm -hmm. You know? Something if you can something else. Not even image for the upon the wall. You see me? Mm -hmm. That shows that we are idolize him. Mm -hmm. And I say, yo, we are put him up. You see me? Mm -hmm. No image upon the wall, God. So we must have no image on a... We must worship no image. You, know, you have some people that put up Silasi and Bob Marley image, you know? mm -hmm. And them just have them two images there mm -hmm. and have like a little altar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see me? And have some badge. Because me used to have one. Yeah, yeah, That's why we can't say so. Yeah, we know. We, but I badge like, them and we can't them. Yeah. And I say, yeah, when yeah, I meditate, yeah. there's yeah. some ego and hold my vibes. We don't mean me no me words. I idolize. Me I put them over God. Yes. No. And that is like a shrine, and, and you, are, you, are, you are doing what is called the Shriners Guild, the Shriners um, Pledge, you know? Yeah. To basically, you know, you assimilate yourself into that person's reality, or who offered you that reality. So a lot of times people talk about, 
who offered us this reality. But what I always say to them is that if you think somebody offered us the reality, then this way you're mistaken because your root reality and ideology are something that you studied, not into the experience of your soul. And that is why genuine experiences needs to be had because when they go and they get subjugated, because the Spirit says, let's talk about the money, because that's how I touch them can. Mm -hmm. They gladly do it for money, no, Ramon. Them gladly go. When they, know, they say, oh, I don't know, all that stuff is hocus pocus, crazy stuff, you know, I, you, what are you talking about? It's crazy. But yet still, they'll go through some dedication process with some priest to go to some river ritual, water ritual, mm -hmm. to make them a millionaire. They'll do it. True. Without, without a thought, they'll do it to upgrade their standard of living. They'll do it to make sure so that the kids can go to the finest school. But they don't know what we're talking about. They don't know about the spiritual mumbo jumbo. But they'll do it for money. Right? So don't you think who is the priest or the high priest over this altar knows something that you don't? You, you believe so much in this priest and his magic. But have you ever questioned what does he believe? Why he's doing his magic? But you don't believe. You don't know about that. You just care about the new car you just had. You don't care about who was sacrificed mm -hmm. and what was done. Yeah, I said it. Who was sacrificed mm -hmm. for it. <laughs> right? Right? Mm -hmm. what, who in your bloodline, the Lord is saying, cool, that mm -hmm. you sacrificed for that car. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you're saying, you're going to say, I'm taking a cheap shot at you because I heard you in the spirit. And you think that's a cheap shot. What is a car? What is a home? What is anything material that your soul should supplant? Or that your life should supplant for it when it came from your own construction, mm -hmm. reconstitution of, of natural laws. Judgment, do you ever reach them? <laughs> Total. Because we have to say now, why the whole of this is important. Mm -hmm. Why we need to know about the Marine Kingdom. Mm -hmm. and because we need to know how the enemy operate. We here Shiro. physically can't see the enemy that is invisible. Mm -hmm. But we know the enemy is there. Yeah, they're visible, they're invisible, but they're not indivisible. Okay. Yeah? So we need to know how the enemy operate. And through the marine kingdom is one of the ways. One of the ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The enemy operate. So Absolutely. we need to know. So you, you can't just uh, go on living and have an enemy mm -hmm. attacking you every day. And not acknowledge the enemy. Don't know nothing about the enemy. Mm -hmm. Don't know how the enemy operate. Don't mm -hmm. know how the enemy move. You see me? Mm -hmm. What them do? Mm -hmm. And how them affect your life. You don't know. Absolutely. But with their walk and I go work, I say, why this happen to me? Why this happen to me? But what? Uh, we have a marine kingdom idol in our room. Mm -hmm. And uh, just because we have the little mermaid something in the room. Mm -hmm. And the little crab. Our crab. Yeah. A little idol looking yeah. thing in the room. The little fish, a little goldfish you have in your little, you know, container. Life is no good. Yeah. You see me? It's like you, you, you have put yourself into someone's um, knowing without even knowing. I watch a movie once where they talk about the abyss. But the abyss is not no pit. Oh, it's not hell, like what I say, like into the, 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 the nether regions of the earth. The abyss was actually in the ocean. And it was a region where you could breathe. Um, a platelet of air and water that did affect your biology, right? And I always thought about it and I said to myself, because they, when they were in, beguiling us as children, they used these things to connect to the inner man, which is the spirit man. In a world of illusion with the wool over our eyes, it's easy to appeal to that inner man and say to that inner man, here, this is truth, and this is the truth of existence. Now, I feel it. Like they told it to me that it was true. And I know others who have known Saru that it was true. But the outcomes were different. Because I, I hear the story that said, Wow, you go into this knowledge like we go into this knowledge. We came up bipolar, you are not bipolar. What's up with that? Right? How do you contain that? When they taught me that information and, and showed me these things through visions and dreams, right, I began to understand something. There's a truth there. But, but I wondered, was it the truth of my life? That's what I wondered. Because when I kept feeling the vibration of that truth, it was sinister in the spirit. What it was saying I was, wasn't nice. So I knew that that wasn't good, it wasn't healthy. So then I detach myself from it. Yeah. And that is why my spirituality is so peculiar because I have, like I said, 
I've been through the darkness, so many people are here when I'm expressed from some point of view, and people say they're lucid, they're brilliant. I know it's still darkness in them, because I remember when I was at that gate, I remember when I was in that dimension, and how it appeared to me. And this was a very beguiling dimension, I must admit. It, True. it draws in the, the most wonderful images. And like I said, though, when those movies come, mm -hmm. it correlates those visions you have. True. And you're like, wow, you know, I'd like to be like the Atlantean or the this and, mm -hmm. you know. And so that's when your spirit now wants to astral travel now to these places. True. You know? Yeah. I guess it's where the oats come in. When these witches take this oats, spirit just put it in. When the witches and these oh. warlock take these oats, that's what they're doing. You know, giving themselves over so they can now fulfill these missions to go and see what they've been seeing in their spirit, in their mind's eye. Can mm -hmm. we just remember so we they are talking about the Marine Kingdom and not explain like the kingdom itself mm -hmm. is like the Marine Kingdom is a city under the sea. Mm -hmm. You see me? Mm -hmm. A spiritual city under the sea. So as you say, a people who astral project and mm -hmm. you see me? And them can go down to the city. Mm -hmm. you, see me? you have some people who physically, because there's a case, a testimony where somebody actually turned into a crocodile mm -hmm. and shape swim, shift. Yeah, shape shifters. That's go it. down to the city. Yeah, some shape shifters are there. And you have that. some people who down at the Marine Kingdom city, because this city is one of the most beautiful cities. Mm -hmm. When they explain it in all them testimonies, mm -hmm. they say beautiful and highly yeah. technical. Te te technologically, technologically advanced. advanced. You I, I, see me? It's like when you watch, like, when you read the crystal, it's just a slip that in. When we were reading the crystal as one of those books that bring the astral plane in, it's like the most beautiful cities that when I saw the book, the crystal is, I literally saw the city too. It's like that. True. It's like that. Because mm -hmm. before laptop make mm -hmm. on earth, mm -hmm. them have laptop I use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause there are testimonies where you have people who used to do witchcraft. Mm -hmm. When they go down to the Marine Kingdom, mm -hmm. they use laptops mm -hmm. long before they were on Earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they can go on with the laptop and can, they can watch Christians. Mm -hmm. Because their mission mm -hmm. is to find any body with like fire, any Christian with fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Their mission is to get that Christian out. Mm -hmm. You see me? Mm -hmm. So, so, to, to so them have a laptop the light, yeah. and watch the Christian from where, anywhere them there. Mm -hmm. Them have a laptop and watch the Christian. It's them have different tech. Them might have a phone that looks similar to our phone. Yeah, yeah. but it's something different. But it's different because it comes from the Marine Kingdom mm -hmm. and that's where the technology come from. Mm -hmm. The phone them come from down there so first. Mm -hmm. Laptop come from there so first. The new vehicle them come from there so first. Mm -hmm. Any vehicle I look, them super car. Yes. And you see, you look funny, it does look beautiful. The you smart can't cars. take your eye off it. Yes, the, that comes from the Marine Kingdom first. The 5G. That mech, that design in the Marine Kingdom. Yeah, the 5G frequency, all of that stuff is Marine Kingdom. Because sonar waves and sonic waves to transmit um, frequency through the sea. They've been doing this for hundreds of years, thousands of years. And now it reached a point where they're going through delta waves now to be able to create um, a certain amount of gigawattage of energy movement, you know through the open frequencies mm -hmm. of close-in antennas and certain circuitry pro, um, projection towers and even through the human body too because we have the electrical um, grid in us as well too because mm -hmm. our electrons activate and command as well too. That's why we can feel hot just walking under some street lights and some, you know, the, the electrical grid because our atoms do excite, like the atoms excite to burn to make electricity. You know, so a lot of these things is like they're altering our DNA as well too because what mm -hmm. happened is that Remember that cell phones have this biometric thing to it and you know, long before we knew that it could do that, it was already doing that because it was already giving biometric readings a long time. And um, I used to laugh and say to people before that, you know, be careful me, I'm biometrics, it won't work. Because my frequency always just destroys it, you know. And it's something I recognize, you know, because as I said, we have to vibrate. Interesting you say about them attacking the Christians because I realize it's your vibrations. Once you vibrate a certain way, you begin to use certain technologies, it begins mm -hmm. to act up on you. And people say you're paranoid, but yet still them in their low frequency ain't having You know, so as we're saying about, you know, how it is now that the technology, right, of the Marine Kingdom has now become like the, the, the driving force beyond all of our current realities now, right? In terms of how we, we, we receive information, and all basically our biometrics, 
is basically interfered with and altered and is monitored. You know, so it, 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 is, it is interesting that, you know, all of this current, you know, 5G grid system that's coming up, how it now is going to interfere with our very perception of reality, mm -hmm. that which holds the very fabric of reality together. It's interesting now how someone can now astral project through an electronic medium now, a thought into your, into your cranium, into your subcranium. You know, so lucidity now is going to be something very harder, considering now that the noise is not just going to only be on the outside, it's going to also be on the inside as well too. And these, as, as you say, these are attacks on, on, on Christians and people of you know, clear and clairvoyant energy from the Marine Kingdom. These technologies do alter our frequency. Like I said, when people tell you, oh, it's just you saying crap, and they're not conscious, and then, you know, they become conscious, right? Their phones are okay when they weren't conscious, then they became conscious and started thinking a different way. Their frequencies begin to increase, sure. and lo and behold, their phones begin to act up on them. Their phones begin to go crazy on them. I just remember to mention this, that the internet was invented to speak to the spiritual world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You so mentioned this on, on, on the first video where we were just yeah. reasoning about it. And like I said, so much other correlation had come through since then. But even then, uh, there were other stuff that I'd found out with people who said that they contacted fallen angels directly because they posted videos on the internet. Mm -hmm. True. That's why they came to them. They yeah. said, we saw you posted some information and we just wanted to correct you to let you know that we experienced it. But what was so wise about that person? Maybe that person follows them, I don't know. What was so wise about that person? He says, I, I, I don't know, because one side come and they tell you this, and the next side come and they tell you that, because they're, they're trying to vie for your attention. Mm -hmm. I, I guess to, in, in my language, I just understand, people might say it's attention, but in my language, I understand that they just want your energy. True. Which one really you going to give your energy to? Right? Some might say your devotions are your interests. What is your energy, really? It's your mm -hmm. spirit. So if you're careful how you use the internet, yes. because them dep on Facebook, mm -hmm. them dep on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You see me? Yeah. Now me dep on Instagram and scam a try, scam me through Instagram. You know? mm -hmm. See that? <laughs> so careful how you use this internet, because the spirit behind the scammer mm -hmm. are the same marine spirits. Yes. A them will give them ideas mm -hmm. and say if you say this and say that, mm -hmm. then we believe you mm -hmm. and then we send you the money. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly. Where do you think them get the ideas from? And remember, so the scammers always go to the obia man. Mm -hmm. If you go get them protection ring. And it's as the crooks. And it's, and it's crooks is them, is them Pietra and Demon, you know. True. Alligator, you know, crocodile. True. You know. So, so it's a marine kingdom, literally, it's them Pietra. Yeah. It's them Pietra. Yeah. So the one who they met Richard to is literally him. True. Yeah, it says Marine Kingdom for real. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> you see everything has a correlation and we'll come to think about it. And the people perish, you know, because of a lack of knowledge, because a lot of people has become lulled to sleep. That's why the whole thing about awakening and awareness. Because if you're sleeping, meaning that you've gone into the, the deep snooze. What is a snooze? It's not really like um, the most passionate sleep. It's just a little light sleep in the essence that you still have sound and certain physical motion. So mm -hmm. you appear as if you might literally be awake at one angle. And that yeah. snooze, that slight doze oh. is what we're in. Mm -hmm. And that's what the majority of people are in. And that's an incantation, that's hypnosis really. For example, scrolling. Mm -hmm. Scrolling through the Facebook and Instagram. I in just dead for a couple of minutes. I scroll and I scroll, you see him sleeping state. Mm -hmm. You see me? Drowsiness. And as a man, you probably all buck up on a, a sexy woman. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. say, hold on, the man. And then you scroll again, you see your next sexy woman. Two twos, you start click on the page. Mm -hmm. And gone in the page, you are just strictly mm -hmm. sexy woman. Mm -hmm. And strictly. your mind gone so far from where you did start. Where you actually, you where you actually are. Because I saw the enemy work. Mm -hmm. You're sleeping in that man. Anyway, your weakness there, mm -hmm. then comes on sleepy in liquor. Yes, for those Sleep of you who, who say naked girls aren't your weakness, okay, we, we don't want to say what some of your weakness is, but we also know that some of your weakness, are not, and I'm not going to be perverted, just say it, because I see like a person who's going to go there. There's some of your weakness is chocolate, yeah man, it's going to be in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. You're going to be eating that chocolate and realize that after a while, 
after you eat a large amount of chocolate, you start getting um, delusions, hallucinations, or literally start feeling different. Remember they say it's a sensuous food, and it's supposed to make, for what they call again, aphrodisiac. Yeah, that was sensuality thing, it's real. They do use food and drink and dance and music and because if you listen to somebody, the great musician, I remember if you and, and the spirit, I like that the spirit communicates clearly. I remember when I was listening to Jimi Hendrix, I remember clearly there was a, a reference that Jimi Hendrix made when he said he wanted his guitar. When he got those um, distortion sounds, mm. for those who know music, when he got those distortion sounds that just seemed so psychedelic and psychotropic, he said he hear the sound of the guitar as if it was playing on the water. Oh. So it's like it's a sonar, it's a sonic sound in here, some kind of sonar. So all of this See, as I said, the beguiling music. So, uh, like a water, you say? Yes, uh, and the beguiling music of the mermaid, same. True. true. Because it's a sound, and it, it, it evokes a certain frequency in the mind. Even though I just did it, mm. it caused a shift in my frequency. True. Because I wanted to hit the right card, <laughs> but it didn't want me to hit the right card. <laughs> but, because um, I realized I could always do those sounds from young. So, literally, Jimmy said that it was like, he, wanted, he was hearing his guitar play underwater. So the, the, the distortions that were created upon, on the pedal to alter the sound mm -hmm. was to make it sound like it was underwater, hearing underwater. Oh. So I tell you, there, there are deep inferences in so much pop culture, in so much of the traditional culture, mm -hmm. and in currently the New Age culture we're talking about, which is just an amalgamous of all of those cultures and cultural identities coming into one. So, I mean, in wrapping up, we just want to say, I mean, please, seek for true knowledge and clarity on your existence because the perishing is coming because of a lack of knowledge because when you have to stand on the solid rock and know how to stand in truth and actualize that truth from knowing, not just from a belief system that has been inculcated upon you, then you can always say, I believe this, I believe that because you don't really need any proof and you don't really need any substantiation. But when you're finding fact and knowledge and actuality, what it gives to you is strength of personage and character. So you can avoid, overcome these projections, these incantations, these spells, these rituals that come from these satanic entities, of people who believe in these satanic entities. So I would say, you know, pray that the Lord opens your thinking to bring more awareness so you can act more from an informed place more than a, you know, just a place of belief. Overcome these wavelengths, these frequencies, watch what your children watch on these cartoons. Sift it, you know you should sift it anyway. It's just that there's a lot more than you are aware of that you should be aware of, <laughs> for real. Brother, any you know, last comments before we flow through. Yeah, boy. Just as I say, make, just do the research and share with us. Mm -hmm. You see, make comment. If you have more information, comment. Make you know. Mm -hmm. Make you know. Share reasoning. Mm -hmm. A reason where a reasoning. You know. If you know something, share with me. Mm -hmm. If we know something, we're going to share with you. Exactly. So iron sharp iron and yes. the two we get stronger. Each one teach one. And yeah. that's how we reach further in our awareness. Because when the body of Christ is like the hundred thousand pencils in one hand of God, they cannot be broken. But when the Christian life on a walk is just one pencil in the hand of the world, you know what's gonna happen. You know? Cannot be broke. It's so easily broken. I love this way this says it cannot be broken. I love that father. Yes. <laughs> you know what pencil. I love it. So I love it, Father. Correction right at this spot. But anyway, you get what I mean. Straightforward. If you are the one pencil in the world, the world will still protect you, just so you know. But we're just saying that unifying the knowledge and the strength does increase even the power in that one. And it's like one of a million. Not one in a million, you know, right, man? One of a million. True. Oh. <laughs> True. 
bless the exalt till next time. There's been reasonings right here at the Trail Life in beautiful old Trails, Jamaica. Brother Ramon Singh, Brother Jerome Butler, just sharing with you, continue to share that knowledge, share that information. Remember your awesome gift to yourself, to your family, to your community, and to your world. Be blessing, be upful. Be a blessing, rather, and be upful. Perfect love. Perfect love, brother. Honorable. Blessing. Honorable. Aye, aye. Amen. Yes, brother.